I think uh, it's interesting, like a party. I mean, I, I, always, I think about these things because when, you know, when we, we have, uh, our tradition is kind of very, very strong sense of very long standing tradition. But sometimes traditions have always this sense of rigidity in them, like less, less sense of flexibility, right? Uh, but which is partly is very good and good to have that. Partly sometimes can be a little bit more flexible. So sometimes we used to have a, like a <coughs> Friday evening talent show where people are singing music and playing jokes about everything. You know, sometimes it's fun, but sometimes, uh, you know, I know, I know like some people are feeling a little bit too much, uh, especially older people, right? <laughs> <laughs> and some people are feeling like, okay, well, we can make a joke, but not that much joke about everything, right? Or you can make a music, but not make a, I mean, they talk, making a joke about channels, making a joke about the light, making a joke about tiglis, um, singing the mantras. So then you, then, then I, I ask myself, of course, singing is nothing wrong about it. But then I said, so what is the problem here? So, so then I see sometimes, it's, it's, it's the place, obviously, you know, obvious that from where these activities are coming from. So when your friend is going for a bachelor's party, and they, this, these parties are, they're coming from a different place. <laughs> you know, they're, they're a little bit like a lost. They're not like a, they, they don't talk so much about awareness of the party. <laughs> right? They're always, they're, they're in, in, their intentions are a little different. I mean, it's good to have fun. It's fine. It's good to have fun, especially when you're younger. You know, it's uh, I mean, especially maybe when you're older. You know, it's good to have fun. That's not, but it's coming different place. Okay, so here we are trying to have fun, but trying to see if the fun is coming from the right place. Or there you're trying to have fun, but quite clearly. Uh, it, it's not coming from the right place. So there's sometimes music is very much like that. You know, like uh, every music has a character of sixth realm. Look, every music has a character of sixth realm. And some are clearly expression of their anger. I mean, if you look some of the music, it scares me. <laughs> you know? But some... It's far better than your meditation. You listen to it. It's better than you're trying to do the practice. You're listening to the music will have more effect on you than you're trying to practice. Because in the, when you're listening, listen, it's hard to listen. People, like, people can talk, but not listening is a hard, harder job than talking, right? So when somebody learned to listen, somebody learned to connect, when they hear it, the rhythm, the deepness of that, they can connect. So they, they are connecting much in the deeper places with, with the music, you know. So I think it's a, uh, you know, it's a, I always thought about, in, in our community, we always thought about, okay, you know, I think it's always good to have, especially people, younger people, and like, a, it's, it's good to engage a little bit with art and the music and, and the poetry and things like that, and trying to see, uh, trying to learn to express things, but coming from deeper places and find that connection to deeper places and f trying to express from those deeper places, you know? And then, so so we, you know, we've been slow, but um, we've been always trying to kind of uh, Im implement that. I think, you know, I, I feel like uh, in our community, we, we definitely need to, to do that. So during my this trip, um, and I was um, in Nepal, so I was trying to create some melody to uh, melodies to mantras. It's a mati or mati melody, so two different melody, which I want some uh, tomorrow maybe we'll evening we'll sing here together. So you can think that when we sing that, it's a little bit like an internal party. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, but when you're singing it. It's like a, you, are, you are connecting to those deeper level of energy. 
I think, uh, and so even even these mantras, we, we there is no melodies. You know, I, even this morning when I was doing my breakfast, I was trying to create some melodies for these mantras. And so, but I think it's good to have a little bit sense sense of that m melody, you know, quality of the sound through which you it's easier to connect, right? Um, so I mean, there is definitely. Uh, there is a. Um, we need to some things. We it, 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 we need. I think it's good to do that it, to connect better. What I'm trying to say. Yeah. So I. So I've been having a lot of fun with uh, trying to make this CD and singing. Singing. I don't have a good voice, but I can. I also realize you can improve your voice. <laughs> so. Um, uh, so I've been practicing my voice a lot, a lot. Actually, yesterday night or evening, I was coming back from Shalas within the all the way half an hour. I sang so loud in my car, <laughs> and uh, and uh, it was uh, it was really great because uh, nobody hears it, right? <laughs> because the other places, I wanted. I'm always with the people around people. And I don't know where I can sing. <laughs> and I'm in the airport. I'm go singing, and I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's looking at me, you know. Like uh, this sounds strange, but uh, but in the car is uh, I said I said maybe I should do a long drive. <laughs> <laughs>